Connecting to a wireless network can be as easy as connecting to a wired network if your router is already set up. We will explain how to set up a router in an upcoming movie. Let's first take a look at how to connect to a wireless router. You first need to make sure that your computer has wireless capabilities. Almost all laptops will have built-in Wi-Fi. If you have a desktop, there is a chance that you don't have Wi-Fi. If you don't have it built in, then you will need to purchase a wireless adapter to be able to connect to a wireless router. Wireless adapters come in both internal cards that look like this, or an external card that plugs into the USB port on the computer. Because of all the different types of wireless adapters, there are multiple ways to connect to a wireless router. Most devices that come with built-in Wi-Fi will use the Windows software to connect wirelessly. On my computer, I'm going to install a USB wireless adapter. To do that, just start by installing the software that came with the adapter first. When the autoplay window opens, I'm going to choose runautorun.exe. When the software runs, I'm going to choose Install Windows Standalone Drivers. By choosing this option, I am allowing the Windows software to control the wireless adapter that I am installing. If I was to choose the regular setup option, it would install additional Netgear software that would control the wireless adapter. I recommend that you use the Windows software because it's very easy to use. During the installation process, you will be asked to plug in the USB adapter. After the device is plugged in, click OK. Now the USB adapter has been installed. If you have an Ethernet cable plugged into the computer, you will need to unplug it. To see if the device is working, go to the right side of the taskbar and look for the icon that looks like this. The icon should have a small yellow star in front of it because the computer is not yet connected to a wireless network. To connect to a wireless network, click on the icon and select the network that you would like to connect to. If you would like to save that network, select the checkbox here. Now your computer will automatically connect to the network when it is within range. Now click Connect. If the network is password protected, then you will need to type in the password. As soon as you are connected, the icon will change the five bars that display how good the signal is. Remember to open up your internet browser and go to a website to see if you are connected. In the next video, we will learn how to set up and configure a wireless router.